tell you i got a's on almost everything except my blood pressure so cheers to you here's pomegranate juice right now meeting the doctor mechanic who's going to tell me are all the working parts in order so i'll see you on the other side hi everyone see this video if you're interested about your health i'm discussing um my annual health report uh, this is not for people who are not serious about their health so if you're getting this video right now just disconnect but if you want to know more about how you can take care of your health my name is Ryan Fernando So let's share my screen and so obviously the first thing that we want to do is uh, your, your first step towards sustained health. So the Japanese live really long okay and because the Japanese live really long in their life uh, you want to be understanding that they live to 100, 100 plus so they do a lot of screening right. So Japan and the India government went ahead and Nura came to India and they are doing this amazing guest like facility but this healthy checkup puts healthy eating into perspective now being a nutrition coach i've always recommended people to do health checkups i just turned 40 48 I'm, I'm running on 48 right now i think i completed 47 or whatever it is i'm 75 born you see the brain's not working that well right so you, you need your brains and your sharpness to be there your muscle sharpness to be there your heart sharpness to be there your digestive system sharpness to be there so let me share my report with you and it's my personal report and i'm sharing it with the world wide web not to gloat not to show off but would you like to walk on a journey with me in taking care of your health that's the job of a nutrition coach and hopefully if i make these videos you will understand that hey this is something i could do now doctors and all say no you don't need to do it the traditional system of medicine was you break down and then you go to a doctor the current system is i want to be aware of what could be probable hurdles in my life because of my genetics because of my lifestyle so just want to come to you wherein they're giving me uh, uh, an input and screening which is giving a comprehensive look at common lifestyle diseases and cancers so when i looked at the uh, uh, the protocol card i was really really uh, impressed that oh you're going to give me a report on all of this okay and what got my eye for this one was the heart calcium score now it is like saying it is the gold standard of trying to check for plaques in your heart and i've never done it in my life and i did it 
and uh, i want to share my reports with you I, i guess you know the result from my smile because i was really worried you know a few of my clients have had heart attacks um, you know we have had some leading film stars and actors you know post covid um, uh, we don't know whether the virus the covid virus the vaccination has an impact on the a uh, plaque formation heart and people are just falling down because maybe they're working out too hard and you know they get heart attack so are you a person who goes to the gym you work out really hard what is it that you're doing so can i help you out in terms of diagnosing that so so basically we did the whole uh, we did the whole check up over here and we got the lipid profile blood test done uh, and and in 2022 if you're watching this many years later uh, the test in bangalore is 15000 rupees in mumbai and and i think delhi is 18000 rupees um so I thought it was great value for money because they gave me the DEXA scan, they gave me the bone mineral density, they did the heart CT score, and they did an analysis of a low intensity radiation CT of my entire organs. So that was something to uh, really, you know, uh, write home about. So let me go with the first. Let me go with the first one, which is my, uh, you know, my uh, body weight. And uh, I was very excited to know that my lean mass was 67 percent. and my fat percentage was a little higher than i expected around 28.5% now my scale here in the clinic shows a, a, a nice 14% body fat but the dexas is a, a gold standard you know and what i learned from this was um the doctor talked to me about how the japanese focus on the visceral fat which is the fat you know near the organs and so the fat near the organs so i'm kind of getting a little bit of a dummy over here so i can actually pinch it now at this age right so at at 47 i am like ah i don't want this right but i'm working out but this is subcutaneous of what i can pitch but what this is showing in over here if you go in and see over here is uh you can see the visceral fat okay and what she said to me dr latika said to me was the end doctor she said see ryan you got a's in almost everything which is amazing except for my blood pressure which was a b so i got to be more de stressed and have less salt in my diet uh but over here the visceral fat in the japanese they say you should be below 100 so she should start working on your core start doing stuff on that now if you don't have this knowledge the assumption is oh i feel fit i look fit i good uh, yeah everything blue blue blah blah but the visceral fat is going to contribute too much towards my cholesterol tomorrow towards my plaque and stuff like that so that's very very important for you to understand you know that you can you can uh do it from this perspective uh the other things that we looked at was bone mineral density so if you you know this green part over here is they check the bone density with the ct scan and you'll be surprised that women after the age of 50 this really uh sorry women after the age of 30 because of maybe earlier menopause this starts dropping so broken bones come earlier in women issues with uh osteoarthritis osteopenia bone mineral density all of these exist so if you know this the next question you ask is how can i change my diet how can i change my exercise so women above the age of 30 men above the age of 50 you've got to do this and this is why i went for this test okay so this was a heart scan to check your calcium ct score and when i got the result the first question i asked dr latika was hey there's no plaque present and we have less than 5% chance of heart disease So probably somebody stresses me out I might get a heart attack but fingers crossed I can now run on the treadmill I can work out a little bit more intense without always looking at my garment and saying oh my heart rate's gone up to 172 right and you know you have the niggle when you get it off and everyone is making fun about Virat Kohli touching his chest guys he's an elite athlete man he just rubbed his chest and like okay you know you do it at, as a reflex you doing a power breath over there so he's taking deep breaths so he can recover quickly massage his heart tell his heart hey buddy i'm there with you and stuff like that and the whole media blows up thinking his heart is wrong what he would sh- or should do is get a calcium ct score what you should do is get a calcium ct score so uh, please get this done uh, it is expensive as a stand alone i understand it's anywhere from 8 to 12000 rupees if you go and do only this test and if you do the whole health check up and you have a doctor walk joining all the dots together it's really really amazing my lungs were amazing they did a ct scan of my lungs that was all good and uh, you know the calcium scoring was all good the lungs was good my ecg was good 
my eye test was good let me go back to the original report okay so how the report came back to me was um, no abnormality detected and if you get a d you're gonna have to take the screening report and go and meet a concerned doctor in that department so whether it's in the heart in the lungs the colon the intestine or the kidneys or it's bp or it's diabetes then they give you a d so what i liked about this report is they've got the years over here 2022 23 24 and i have not i have not met any of the good diagnostic labs keeping your records and giving it back to you what Nura is promising, and please do get in touch with me because I'll get you the, I'll get you the guest uh, pass. I'll get you the, um, the bumped up, the VIP. You know, if, if I was a DJ, you'd call me up for tickets to the nightclub. I'm the DJ to a health checkup. So if you do get in touch with me, uh, me or my team will share the link here down. I think this is below down somewhere here or up there. But we'll share the link with you. So if you're in Bombay, um, Delhi or Gurgaon, you can do the needful. But what I liked about it is I got A's in everything, right? So I was like, yeah, yeah, I'm super good and everything. But uh, this requires work. I work on my diet. I work on my exercise. I work on my sleep. I got eight hours of sleep last night. Um, I haven't been working out my uh, in the last week because I hurt my knee. Uh, and, and the idea of doing a health checkup was to kind of push my body in some time. Some of us are delicate darlings. I, I don't claim to be an elite sports person. I claim to be only a good brain nutritionist, talented nutritionist from here. So this is good. The brain's good. But the rest of my body is just like anybody out there. It's not at an Olympic level. But this gives me reassurance that I've got good health. So i got to work on my blood pressure. So what I'm going to do, is I'm going to work on my pomegranate. Pomegranate um, you know, helps elasticity. Collagen helps elasticity of the blood vessels. So my blood vessels are more elastic. You know, as, they, as my BP goes up, my vessels should expand. So it's getting like hard pipelines. It, the calcium CD score is correct. So I got to figure out that mine may be stress driven. Maybe I'm taking on too many cases, running the nutrition business or trying to fill my plate with too much of stuff. Maybe I need to relax more. Maybe I need to do deep meditation. I need to do breathing. So this is a department that I'm going to work on. So um, I'm, I'm super happy with whatever I found out. I got to work on my blood pressure. And this is how the report looks. Okay. So in 2020, 23, they've looked at all my things, my hemoglobin, blah, 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 blah. And they've given me an A over here. So uh, everything's really, really nice. Nothing to complain about. My HbO1c, which is an indication of my glucose. I was genuinely surprised because I did do it at another lab about a, uh, two weeks ago and it was 5.4. So again, I'm going to average it out between 5.1 and 5.4. And, um, and next week, I'm going to be putting on a glucose patch, uh, a CGM device. For the second time, when I did it last year in December, I remember um, what my levels were and what my... So I'm going to do it again this year. And I'm doing this because I think of my, my body as a Rolls Royce. And I'm, I'm kind of like, okay, what can I do to make it better? And the one thing that I learned from this report is I need to put on at least another 4 kgs of muscle mass. And that I'm going to do between this year and next year's test. So I'm, you're going to see me trying to work a little harder in the gym, uh, maybe dedicate a little bit more time to fitness uh, and, and, and get um, an insurance policy written for myself, which is muscle is the only age reversible organ in the human body. And so uh, from head to toe, taking care of your body is your own responsibility. Remember, you can, um, you know, you can take care of, um, everybody around you, you can change your phones, you can change your mouse, you can change, you know, you can change the AC in your room, you can change your clothes, I can change my specs frame, you can change my car, I can even change my spouse. Right? But you can't change the human body. So I'm left with this guy in me. So what am I going to do about this guy? So if you've watched this video this far, and I've kind of motivated you, enlightened you, given you some inputs, I would be happy for you to come to Kwan Nutrition. But after you get a B or a D or a C, if you get an A, you don't need to come to Kwan Nutrition. But by the way, I've, I've just recruited one of the dietitians on my team onto my plan. So I, as Ryan Fernando, work with the nutritionist to make my plan. Because like it's like a heart doctor saying that he's got heart disease, so he'll work on it himself. Now, you go and work with another expert, right? So I'm going to work on my nutrition. So if you want us to work with you on your nutrition, get in touch with us at Qua Nutrition Clinics. We're a global clinic. 
by the way if you do this test in your country anywhere in the world you just need to send me the report because the report gives us a crystal ball gazing into your future so we are literally like health astrologers we can predict your future and and then what we do is we tell you to tie this string around your hand or you know when you get up in the morning uh turn your head in a certain direction and wink at the sun no i'm just joking uh we can change the food that you eat so instead of putting on a ring that's going to give you an aura of energy let's figure out scientific stuff what you can put into your body how much of that you should put in your body and when you should put in your body like so how much when and what quantities and what timing of the day i think if you do all of this you will get to the next level of um improving your health to the best possible level wherein you use food and your behavior as the absolute medication for the perfect god bless you my name is ryan fernando and if you like this video uh, please share it with people around you um, um who you are concerned about their health too uh, better still watch it take care